you can breathe new life into shades you're bored with by blending them together, almost everyone has a few bottles of nail enamel waiting to be used up. Mixing your own custom shades of nail varnish is also a great way to match that new nail color that's all the rage on the catwalk, but hasn't made it to the shops yet. Mixing materials pour a few drops of varnish in two or more colors onto an unwanted glass or china plate and blend them with a wooden toothpick. You can also use a piece of waxed paper as your mixing palette. Don't try to mix your nail colors in a plastic container, this includes plastic foams. The nail varnish will eat through the plastic and may damage the surface underneath. Mixing colors in a bottle can be tricky, as the necks are very narrow. You can introduce a second color a drop at a time using the end of a toothpick. If you apply the mixed color with a brush from a bottle of nail color, clean the color off the brush before and afterwards. Color mixing you can discover new shades by experimentation but it's a little easier to use an artist's color wheel. This is a diagram showing you how different shades are produced through color mixing. To make a purple varnish, for example, you can mix a pure blue with a cherry red. You can lighten colors by adding white or pastels and darken them by adding black or dark brown. Always add the darker color to the lighter one, mixing in a drop at a time. Shears You can make sheer or jelly colors by mixing solid colored varnish with clear varnishes. Mix a pink beige or brown with clear varnish to make delicate, natural shades that you can apply over bare nails for a nude look. You can also apply sheer colors over solid colors to make a new shade. For example, transparent orange over pink will give a peachy effect.